the, <clears throat> the entrance antiphon. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. Today's Mass intention is for the continued healing of Christopher Meir. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You will say to him the contrite heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father just to see for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarah serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the Lord came to Moses and said, then the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, make a Sarah and mount it on a pole and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. The nation shall revere your name, O oh Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion, and appeared in his glory when he had regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to reach those doomed to die. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of heaven's Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisee, 
I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below, I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that I will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is you, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the church offers us an optional to celebrate the memorial of Saint Toribio de Mogrovejo, Bishop. He was a 16th century Spanish missionary to the New World who defended the rights of Latin American natives. He was born in a noble family in Spain and capitalized on a very good education by studiously developing a sharp intellect. He went on to teach law at a famous university of Salamanca in Spain. His virtue and wisdom brought him to appointment from the king and made him become a priest. In 1578, he was sent to Peru and named Archbishop of Lima. Becoming the Archbishop of this Archdiocese, he also often walked throughout his Archdiocese to meet and talk to everyone. He tried to learn the local dialect so that he can communicate with the native people and instruct and baptize them. He traveled alone and was exposed to extreme weather, wild animals, tropical disease, and even threat from hostile traps. He then became a powerful voice to reform the new world and was known as a staunch defender of the rights of the native against the Spanish stellar. After that, he also persisted in his advocacy even though he met a powerful opposition from the Spanish governors in Peru. He then also built many roads, many churches, many schools, many hospitals, and especially he opened the first seminary in the Western Hemisphere in Peru. It is said that he welcomed 500,000 pe 500, people into the church in Peru. In 1606, he died from a fever. He is remembered as the Christ-like shepherd of the poor and the oppressed people. God gave him the gift of loving others as they needed from him. Just say that we belong to our own loving Father, let us bring our prayer before Him. For all who serve in the church, may the grace of God further the strengthen them in their mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders and all who hold power in this world, may God grant them the ability for just and prudent decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, injured, and dying, and those who care for them, may Christ, the divine physician, 
bring healing and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for an increase in vocations through the priesthood, religious life, and permanent deactivate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Now let us pray the prayer for protection and healing from the coronavirus in our family prayer. Lord Jesus, who travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness, come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their health and strength. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals as they help the sick. Allow the vaccine to be successful and halt in the spread of the virus. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Grant us peace in this time of uncertainty and challenge. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus. For you are our loving and healing Lord. Our Lady of Prop Sucker, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Rock, and St. Rosalie, pray for us. Our family prayer. Loving and faithful God, through the years the people of our archdiocese have appreciated the prayers and love of our Lady of Prop Sucker in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless them and they may their children and say, bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Prompt Supper, hasten to help us. Mother Henrietta Julio, pray for us that we may be a holy family. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the book of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. <laughs> Praise my brother and sister that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinity power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we should give you thanks as in exhortation, we acquire. Holy, 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 Lord our God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and son of heaven which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, bread of the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout ages, we may merit to be co heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe for all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. <laughs> Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those all to the supper of the Lamb. Communion at fun. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. Christ, we pray, Almighty God, that after seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Tonight, they will have the rosary outside at the Born Children uh, Garden, and after that, they will have the Marian Station of the Cross. So if you have time, please come to join with them. Again, it will be at 7 p.m. outside at the Born Garden for the uh, rosary and the Marian uh, Station also. And if it be raining, we will do it inside the church. The Lord be with you. <laughs> May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke them with humbly pray, and do thou so, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world. Seeking the rules of souls. Amen. Okay, please. Okay, well, you're going to have to get the.